Hi, I'm Terry Bailey. I'm a teamster with Draft Horse Town. And uh, this is my pal, Leroy. Leroy is a Belgian gelding. And he's about 15 years old. And uh, Leroy, along with his sister Lulu, are going to help us demonstrate harness today. So this is Lulu, Leroy's sister. They're a team, and they like to be together. So we're going to get Lulu harnessed up here. And uh, Lulu's collar is a little different in that she uses a pad. And the idea behind the pad is just to optimize the fitment. You want to make it as comfortable as possible for the horse. Pick your head up, girl. There we go. A little more fooling around, but like I say, the optimum fitment is your goal here. So once you got the collar done up, just pull the pad back, clip it on. There we go. Atta girl. Just shove it all up on his back here. Do up the bottom hame strap. And you want this tight. Because this pulls the load. Here we go. And then we do the breast strap up. Go to the back, pull the breeching down. Do up the belly band. Take the end of the pull strap. Do up the quarter strap. One thing you have to remember is that names are regional. So what we call a part here, people in Ontario will call it another part. So um, the, the collar, that's pretty much universal. And then the hame, that's pretty much universal. And then the breast strap. And then this long strap that goes between his legs is called a pull strap or a choke strap. And then on the end of the choke strap is a big ring. And there's two smaller straps that come down from the breeching and clip onto that. And these are called quarter straps or belly straps. And the breeching goes around his butt and that's your braking system. So when you're going down a hill with a wagon, they'll actually sit on that to hold the wagon back. And then these big heavy straps are called tugs. And they're actually what's connected to the load. And we'll pull a wagon or implement or whatever it is you gotta move. This is called a center drop. And basically, it helps you from getting a line over the end of a pole. Because sometimes when you stop, they'll put their head down to try and grab a mouthful of grass. And then when they pick their head up, they got a line under the tongue, which is not a good thing. Try to do these up without twists. And we'll just do that one up. So after you've put the lines on, then you put the neck yoke on them. 
You never want to put the neck yoke on until the lines are done up. That's kind of a safety thing. So now, we'll uh, just take them out and hook them up. Easy, Leroy.